I am Pierre Bouvard, Chief Insights Officer at Westwood One, and welcome to the 2023 NCAA Listening Report. March Madness is right around the corner, and we're excited to present to you the Westwood One 2023 NCAA Basketball Listening Report. If you're considering adding March Madness to your audio media plan, you have come to the right place. A tremendous amount of research and analysis has revealed that the NCAA audio audience is incredibly passionate and engaged. These are desirable on the go consumers putting March Madness from Westwood One into your media plan generates incremental reach, enhanced frequency and creative that really punches through. First and foremost, March Madness is a stunning American cultural experience, and the NCAA on Westwood One has incredible reach. Across the season, 33 million different Americans catch the Westwood One NCAA broadcasts. Now, if you take a step back, the NCAA fans those that are consuming the video on CBS or Turner or updates on their smartphone or listening to the West Woman broadcast. These are a unique group of people compared to the US average. They're younger, more upscale, more likely to have attended college, more likely to be uh, full time employed and have kids in the household. Now, how do these consumers follow March Madness across all of the platforms? Well, no doubt. The primary platform, CBS and Turner, digital streaming video is growing, but look at that, 36% of the March Madness audience is using the NCAA Westwood One radio play-by-play -play broadcast to stay in touch with what's going on, especially when a lot of these games occur during the day and folks don't have a TV screen available. Across all of these platforms, the average NCAA men's basketball fan is consuming 3.4 platforms. So they're using a lot of different platforms. Now this is for adults 18 plus. Let's take a look at 1834. Look at how significant that audio platform is among 1834 year olds. Six out of 10 1834 year old March Madness fans say they use that Westwood One radio broadcast as a key platform. The 1834 fans are so passionate they're consuming 5.1 platforms. I mean, they are literally finding that information across digital, mobile, social, video, and of course, on the radio. Now let's probe a little deeper to that NCAA audio audience. In blue are the fans that are listening to the NCAA radio broadcast. In gray are folks that are catching the video part of the broadcast. And this is where radio really shines. The ability to reach the fan when they're in the car, at work, some other place where that TV set simply isn't available. And that's how the radio makes your TV investment better. And if you look at location of listening for the various platforms, among folks that are catching the games away from home, six out of 10 are catching those radio play-by-play -play broadcasts on Westwood One. Now, what's the benefit to your media plan of putting uh, the Westwood One radio broadcast uh, into that media plan? Well, two things, incremental reach and amplified frequency. According to Maru Matchbox analysis, by putting radio March Madness broadcasts uh, into your plan, you get an incremental lift in reach of 19% over the folks that are using video and you get amplified frequency as one third are using both the video and the audio to catch up with those games. Now, from a creative perspective, Sequent Partners did an analysis of tons of Nielsen audio creative testing and found that brand building ads work just as well as sales event ads. So you can run a sales event ad in March Madness or a brand building ad. Now let's do a head to head TV versus audio. We want to measure the profile, the passion, the engagement and purchase intention. Now earlier we said the March Madness audience just in general upscale, amazing uh, consumers. But when you tease apart 
the TV versus the radio audience, you notice the radio audience is younger, more likely to be employed, more likely to have kids, obviously bigger households, and a higher median income. So the audio platform is really the creme de la creme of NCAA March Madness fans. Now, MRI GFK took a look at a whole bunch of different measures of sports passion and engagement. You've got the TV column there, the radio column there. And as you read down there, you discover that regardless of the passion measure, the audio audience is just simply much more engaged. They are finding that radio broadcast because they are truly into the sports event and whether it's attending games or being super interested in college basketball or doing fantasy sports or sports betting, the audio audience is simply just more passionate. And what that means for you as an advertiser is that your ad is running an audio content where people are literally leaning in. So it elevates the impact of the ad for your brand, your store. Now, let's take a look at the purchase intention of the audio audience versus the NCAA video audience. So, buying a new vehicle, well, the audio audience more likely to be buying new or used or leasing, making a consumer electronics purchase like a smartphone, tablet, or high-definition TV, the radio folks much more likely, and then moving or having remodeling of the kitchen or refinancing the home mortgage or last kid finishing colleges, all these kind of major life events. It is the audio audience that shows greater purchase intention. So these are folks that are ready to make major purchases and your ad will have a significant impact. Let's take a look at a couple case studies from major national advertisers. A auto parts manufacturer uh, did a Nielsen study of their Westwood One NCAA March Madness ad and found the campaign drove increased brand recognition, it lifted their brand image, and it elevated the media plan. Folks that remembered the radio ad were more likely to remember all of the other elements of the brand's media campaign. CDW, a major IT information services company that targets IT decision makers, found the same thing. Radio elevated the media plan. Folks that remember the radio ad, more likely to remember all the other aspects of the campaign. They found that their March Madness investment on Westwood One's broadcast uh, impacted IT decision makers. They're very target and it had a much greater likelihood to recommend. And the campaign also grew their brand perceptions. A motorcycle manufacturer knocked it out of the park with their NCAA radio campaign. Bigger ad recall, uh, drove folks to the website and lifted purchase intent. So put March Madness in your media plan. You've got super engaged, passionate, desirable, on the go consumers. The NCAA audio investment, incremental reach, frequency amplification and creative that really impacts. Thanks so much for the opportunity to take you through the 2023 NCAA basketball listening report from the Westwood One Radio Network. Thanks so much.